Good morning. I am the Reverend Hunter Ruffin, and I'm coming to you from Church of the Epiphany in Tempe, Arizona. I bring greetings from our parish and on behalf of our bishop and diocese. Welcome to Church of St. Bartholomew here on St. Bartholomew Island. We welcome you to our service. Alleluia! Christ is risen. The Lord is risen indeed. Alleluia! Let us say together the Collect of Purity. Almighty God, to you all hearts are open, all desires known, and from you no secrets are hidden. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, have mercy. mercy. Christ, have mercy. mercy. Lord, Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, We worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. O God, you have prepared for those who love you such good things as surpass our understanding. Pour into our hearts such love towards you that we, loving you in all things and above all things, may obtain your promises, which exceed all that we can desire, through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. And now for our readings. The first reading today is taken from the first letter of John. Everyone who believes that Jesus is the Christ has been born of God. Everyone who loves the parent loves the child. By this we know that we love the children of God, when we love God and obey his commandments. The love of God is this, that we obey his commandments, and his commandments are not burdensome. But whoever is born of God conquers the world, and this is the victory that conquers the world, our faith. Who is it that conquers the world? But the one who believes that Jesus is the Son of God, This is the one who came by water and blood, Jesus Christ. Not with the water only, but with the water and the blood. And the Spirit is the one that testifies, for the Spirit is the truth. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, As the Father has loved me, so I have loved you. Abide in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will abide in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and abide in his love. I have said these things to you so that my joy may be in you and that your joy may be complete. This is my commandment, that you love one another as I have loved you. No one has greater love than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends if you do what I command. I do not call you servants any longer, because the servant does not know what the master is doing. But I have called you friends, because I have made known to you everything that I have heard from my father." 
You did not choose me, but I chose you. And I appointed you to go and bear fruit, fruit that will last, so that the Father will give you whatever you ask him in my name. I am giving you these commands so that you may love one another. The Gospel of the Lord. 